Now my next guest made headlines recently when she shared this unfiltered selfie of her post baby body just four weeks after having her first child. However, for Jennifer Metcalf, the birth of her son was much more dramatic and she's called him her miracle baby. And Jennifer's here this morning. And, and just over here, I've got to say, <laughs> lovely Greg and little Days there as well. Look at all, very content. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't at 3 a.m. this morning. <laughs> all night. That'd be right, wouldn't yeah. it? <laughs> um, so Obviously, all is well now, uh, yes. Jennifer, but I mean, just to go back to the birth, actually, it, it wasn't the most pleasant experience. And the nurses actually christened Little Day the Miracle Baby yeah. because of what happened. I mean, what, what exactly did go on? Um, I mean, as far as labour were concerned, I quite enjoyed it. It was a bit of a challenge. These midwives came in that were absolutely incredible at the end because his heart rate had dropped. Um, I think the contractions came a little bit too soon and they were quite long. So anyway, his heart rate dropped um, and these midwives came in and they were just like holding my hands and made me feel like superwoman. They were just like, come on, you're the best pusher in the northeast. <laughs> like, even if there was something wrong, I wouldn't have known about it. And then when he came out, um, our little gorgeous boy, look at him. Um, when he came out, his cord were in a knot and it were in quite a tight knot as well. And basically, they said it happens in one in a hundred babies and it doesn't end very nice. Mm -hmm. um, it can end in stillbirth. Um, it was quite a tight knot as well because it stops the oxygen and the food flow and everything getting to him. Um, but our little man, like, defied the odds and here he is. Hey, absolutely. And at what stage can that have happened? With well, I asked, I asked that yeah. and they said um, at the beginning when the cord developed. So, yeah, oh, right. very, we're so very lucky. So the whole nine months, it's, yeah. he's been battling against mm -hmm. the odds So it'd already. just been, if he'd have tightened it, it's... Yeah, oh, but he didn't, and he's here. And, it's, and he's here and well. And how are you adjusting then to, yeah. you know, the lack yes. of sleep? Yeah, we're the slowly getting there. My eyes are like, pick him up off the floor. <laughs> um, yeah, we're slowly getting there. It's week eight this week. Um, the sleep deprivation is a bit of a killer, but um, he's just amazing. And when he does that little smile at you at 3 a.m., you're just like, oh, you're forgiven for these bags <laughs> under my eyes. So, yeah, we just adore him. He's lovely. And you are utterly convinced, though, Mm -hmm. You were having a girl. In yes. fact, you'd hardly thought about boys' names. In fact, nothing to do with little boys. Yeah. It was going to be, be a, a girl. girl. <laughs> yeah, I think it was more Greg that were convinced. Like, we've seen a doctor um, when I just got pregnant, and he said, tried the Chinese calendar. He said, I, after three and a half thousand babies, it's never let me down. And I said a girl, so if we'd have conceived the whole of August or September, it were a girl. So Greg were calling, saying every day, um, how many lovely ladies today? So he's been called a lady for the last nine months. <laughs> <laughs> and where did the name Day come from? Um, I just thought of it one random day driving up to Newcastle. Um, it was before we spoke about children and we didn't know whether we wanted them or not. And I just said, oh, have you ever had a boy one day? I love the name Day. And Greg was like, I'm really not sure. And then one day, <laughs> it just clicked and he was like, yeah, I love it. So, it just fitted. Yeah, good job it were a boy because if it was a girl, I don't know what she what should have been called. <laughs> we just had a long list of these really peculiar names. It's still in my notes section and Day's at the top. Oh. So we spent nine months mulling over all these girls' names and we already had it. Subconsciously meant to be, yeah. you see, exactly. And so we, we talk about this, the, the selfie here, um, Jennifer, and it's, it's odd because it's almost like you feel like you have to try and prove to other girls that, you know, you, be normal. yourself. Yeah, be yourself. You don't have to try and yeah. snap straight back into shape. And mm -hmm. as you say, this unfiltered um, selfie, which mm -hmm. I think is quite important, that, that's you in your in your beautiful self, to be fair. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I prefer about... people get rid of the filters, get rid of the makeup, get rid of the hair sometimes and just, like, look at someone for how, like, raw they are. Um, it was just one morning, they had actually slept for about three hours and Greg was like, quick, let's go to sleep. So we tried to sleep, but these words kind of were going through my head and I thought, these are the sort of words when I want as body confident that I'd have needed to hear. Mm -hmm. um, so I felt like if I did this post for women that are in that position where I were a few years ago that I want so confident and if I could help them with their shell, their like pregnant body, their postpartum body, then Various, I just felt... Uh, you know, hairs and parts of the Everything. body that have just... Oh, it all goes. <laughs> but I love it. It's like, it's the only time you can embrace all that. And it's just, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed watching the changes. Mm. I think it's just amazing what the women's, woman's body does to, like, accommodate new life. I just think it's incredible. Yeah. So. Well, for me, like, the picture was one thing, but it was actually the words. For yeah, me, it yeah. really struck home. There was a real honesty and just, you were just being straight. This is just yeah. what has gone on for the past nine months and now. Yeah, and I think, like, 
like the feedback that I got from women that was pregnant or have just had their children, um, it, it really meant a lot to me and I thought I didn't realise I'd have that much of an impact. It mm. was just words to me, but it really hit on to some people. Did you actually started writing it without the view to posting it yeah, at all? It no, was just it a way just, of kind yeah, of getting your Getting it off. Like I just, these words were coming through my head. I couldn't sleep and I thought, I'll just write them down. And I thought, let's take a picture. I had my scabby bra on and my big knickers and I thought, <laughs> let's just take a picture. And I was like, yeah. Because I've seen women do it before and I think it is really inspiring. So mm. that fact that I could do that, yeah. I felt proud. Interestingly, though, you had to wait four weeks to do this because Greg didn't have a mirror in his, uh, in his, in his house. He's just popped out with the baby there, hasn't and he? And I'm yet to get my rug and cushions as yeah. well. <laughs> so you had to go and do a little bit of the girly yes, thing and make yeah. it a bit more of a home. Yeah. You had to buy a mirror. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Argos, brilliant. <laughs> so you did definitely feel that this was the time then and you yeah, felt comfortable yeah. to do it. I mean, it. I'd have done it earlier. I, though I wasn't ashamed of my body. We literally did not have a mirror. And I've been saying, he's been there a year now. And I've, every time I've gone up every weekend, I'm like, can we get a mirror yet? Oh, it's fine, it's fine. So we've got like this little one in the bathroom. Um, so yeah, we made up, we got the mirror. <laughs>